How is everybody doing today? I'm doing good. This stream is brought to you by Matt, Liquid Zoo Only Fins. He legit messaged me like 10 minutes ago. He's like, are you streaming? I was like, oh, I'm still on the fence. I'm tired from work. And he's like, you could do it. And I was like, you know what? You write. I can do this. I don't want to disappoint anybody. And just like one of my favorite lines from Has Been Hotel, take that depression. So here I am. Everybody. Thank, thank Matt for kicking my button gear. So yeah, how's everybody's week been? <laughs> All right, let me start saying. Yep, Matt was first. Hello, hello, geek boy. What's up? Oh boy, oh boy, under geek and Matt. Ugh. <laughs> New local Austin. Hello, Mike. You're awake tonight. Good, good, good. I hope you're awake. You're typing. Says Matt. Wee. Matt, can you, or, oh my god, not Matt. Steven, can you even go that high pitch? Next time you're on stream. Wee! I know Eric can. Soon equals 10 minutes in this case, I hope. Uh, okay, I don't understand. Scotty! Hello, hello, Coro. Hello, hello. Won't be in chat much. I'm draining tanks and bagging fish. Nice. Is Has Been Hotel the one that's like demons and stuff? Yeah. Is Scotty still? It, Jenna, hello, hello. Demons and stuff for sure. Yeah. Yeah. It's so good. Oh my God. It's gotten to the point where on my day off, I'll just let it run on the TV. Like I start it from episode one and I just let it run, whether I'm playing Stardew Valley, like playing my Switch, or if I'm trying to do some cleaning around the house. But yeah. Nine tanks I haven't even touched yet. Oh, dang. Whip! Hello, hello. I tried to go high pitch, and it sounds high pitch. And then Jenna... Oh, hold on. I got a Discord notification. There we go. Let's try that again. I tried to go... Oh, gosh. Oh, God. Why did it go all weird? There we go. I tried to go high pitched, and it sounds high pitched. And then Jenna is like inaudible frequency. And, Je and then Jenna is like inaudible of frequency. Yeah. <laughs> I just did that today. We had a, a Princess Anthea come in. And mind you, Antheas normally are like at least two inches when they come in. Two to three inches. No, this one's like an inch and a half. So it's a little baby. So I go over there. And uh, my aquatic specialist knows that I love it whenever small, like obscenely small fish come in. Um, He's like, oh, there's a Princess Anthea over there that's small. I was like, oh. So I went and found it. And I just go, oh, my God, so cute. <laughs> baby <laughs> and like anybody in the vicinity who heard like all my other uh associates that heard they just come up they just kind of like peek around the aisles they're like you okay i was like it's just a baby. It's a baby and i'll go higher pitch depending on how excited i am um oh everybody's talking about the eclipse that's one channel i don't have muted on discord you people and your tiny fish yeah it's just a baby fish it's just a baby so high pitch they think you might just be squeaking in pain no no that's gonna be like the yelling and cussing that that'd be me in pain everybody has now learned I need tiny fish so I can feel large. <laughs> uh, um, everybody's learned that if they hear a crash in the general vicinity where I am, they have to stop and listen for the whoopsie <laughs> in order to know if I'm good or not. <laughs> so I'll drop something. Just, whoopsie. That means I'm good. But if there's not, and there's a bunch of cussing or silence or whatever. They know it's probably not okay. It has. There's never been an occasion where it's never been okay, but it's just <laughs> drop. Whoopsie! No, dang it, Gina! I don't even mean to stop yelling at me. It's 
only the first thing I broke today. actually didn't break anything today. Today was truck day. Wednesdays, every Wednesday is our freight day. So that's also why I'm super tired whenever I get home is depending on how much. Uh... Oh no, the table, it's broken. <laughs> you feel your fish often? <laughs> uh, um... No, yeah, uh, today's freight day, and I I always try to stack things in my arms that are in all the same aisle, and then I take them down, and because I I hate like finagling with a cart, taking it with me everywhere, so I just try to grab like items in the same aisle and put them away. Just what works for me. Well, sometimes I overstuff those arms, and I don't or I don't stack things properly, and things end up falling. But luckily, only like non-breakable things bro uh, fell out, so I didn't I didn't break anything today. Not as often as I'd like, but so remember how I said all that fluval stuff, uh, fluval plant stuff was going on clearance. Well, turns out, like all the tools and stuff, aquascaping tools. Turns out they're coming out. Uh, Petco's coming out with a Magitarium brand ones. They should be hitting the shelves in about two weeks, and I'm super freaking excited about it. There's, I have the whole like list of all the new stuff. I have the new planogram, the new display um, plans out. But yeah, I'm so exciting. Do you have anything in a box that you wish to remove from said box? Um, what? I'm not comprehending. Did you drink them, Scotty? Oh, nine baby Ep Epiplady Degetti gone. Completely disappeared from a cup. Oh, did you drink them? Oh, what about Pokemon cards? No, I don't have any Pokemon cards. Unboxing is my last bingo square before a blackout. <laughs> Do you have any packages you could open for? God damn, stop yelling at me. I do. I still have my Bulbasaur Lego. Do we want to do that? Um, do I have anything else that's new in here? I don't think I do. Everything else I've already unboxed. The last thing I bought that arrived... Not yesterday, but the or I guess it yeah, it arrived yesterday. I'm not showing on stream. I bought undies and I'm not I'm not unboxing undies on, on stream. <laughs> Any recent aquatic related purchases? No, but I'm waiting out for all that shrimp new shrimp and plant stuff to appear. Um I think it might start coming in next week. I'm pretty uh, I'm pretty excited. Um I'm wondering if I want to set up a whole new 10-gallon shrimp tank. You have something private you don't want to open on stream, eh? Put something else in your box and open it. <laughs> um, I don't... I don't have anything else new. The other newest thing was my coffee maker, but that was like two weeks ago. I mean, I have I have the Lego. We could do that. Does that count? I think it counts. Did Nathan buy anything? He's always going to open up his new stuff, too. Okay. Well, let's at least open it so Stephen can get his bingo square. Oh, gosh, that was terrible. I think this is gummy. There we go. Yep. I need to sharpen my everyday carry, my little donut knife, because I was using it today because I forgot my utility blade at home. And, oh, boy, it is dull. Hi, Dee Dee. Oh my god, I got a Myrtle box today. You know what? Wait. I did order Myrtle stuff. And I thought I got an email that it shipped. Hold on. 
but I never received it. Nope, that's the wrong email. Um... Dip -dip -dip -dip. Wrong email. Maybe this one? <laughs> Pause. I should probably check my email every day. There we go. Nope, that's not it. There we go. Yeah. Oh, that's just my end voice. I will find it. I will find it. <laughs> nope, I guess not. Kelly. Wait, what if we deny Stephen Bingo? Ooh, that is also an option. Kaylish, hello, hello. How long can you tease him? I don't deal with delayed gratification very well. Let's find out together. <laughs> Stephen doesn't care about the prize. He just wants the card to be complete. I was really counting on Dan to talk about groups of bottom feeders and algae eaters. Oh, no. I feel like there are too many jokes to make about how close Steven is to finishing his bingo card. <laughs> Mel Wall, hello. Dan again, hello. And that knife's edge, Gina, is teasing us with <laughs> by not actually opening the box yet. <laughs> Shark back. Shark, hello, hello. Shark is one of my, uh, I met him playing Overwatch on PlayStation. I've been friends for a long time. <laughs> Past Kelly's bedtime. Maybe Gina would like to talk about the snails and algae eaters she likes to keep and what she calls them. Um, one thing at a time. <laughs> I don't know. Is it your last box, Kelly? Doop -doop -doop. Scotty, I got nothing going on in the morning. Hell yeah. Make you a coffee. I didn't make me a coffee. I'm j I've just got regular water. Okay. The tabby flappy do is open. Box is officially open. Okay. I have unboxed. Steven, you can punch your card now. Hey, so cute. It's a very large bag for only a couple of pieces. There's only this much in pieces in this such a big bag. Sadly, I have many boxes. I'm thinking of dumping this card. Oh, no. Oh, vibes, hello. Well, I think I'm going to be able to ship out some of those red root floaters this weekend. Yay. Time for my pygmy quarries and baby coolie loaches for their nighttime rat pashy. Nice. Yeah, it's been a long time since we played. <laughs> Jenna is suggesting the complete boss box must be emptied, and I'm very frustrated. Okay, bag number two. The base pieces. Actually, I think this is technically bag one. Yeah, bag one. Bag two. Oh, there's a little tiny something. What is this? They look like little clouds, but they're green. I don't know what this is. Oh, they're little notes. You can add little notes to it. Oh, that's 
cute. And then the instructions. Okay. Box is empty. See? There's nothing else in this box. Box is empty. Um, uh, flames. So Gina is not a tease. Teaser. Gina, are you making a trip to Pennsylvania in October? I am not. Nope. We're in June. We're going to Blade Show in Atlanta, Georgia, for because it's Nathan's turn for an event this year. Um. It, even if I was able to, I don't think I could now because my boss's wife is pregnant um, and she is due mid-October and this is their second kid. Um, she was, uh, their first kid was two weeks early. So they do kind of expect maybe this one to be also coming early. I added the bottom feeder card and deleted a couple of difficult ones, so refreshing your card might not be a bad idea. Oh, I know I need to. How good at Overwatch would one have to be to join the role queue? I don't know. I actually, uh, um, I actually haven't played Overwatch two at all. That's kind of when we stopped playing. Is when Overwatch 2 came out. Actually, probably a little bit before that. Um, so, like, the different queuing up and stuff, that's all still new to me, even though it's been around for years. Didn't get much Gina time at all last year. I know. I was working the table. Uh, Mel says, Koro, sweet. I almost totally forgot. You still have my email? I have spare hornwort. And snails and stuff. Got to go to the post office anyways. Lots of tank wealth to share. Nice. Um, MB Reef. Hello, hello. Long time. Hello. Uh, anyone want ram's horn snails? Just raise your hand. <laughs> I like ram's horns. I have a few. He says, I have your email. I'll send you another message when I'm ready to send it. Probably pack it and stuff on stream. Hopefully the chat can prevent me from making shipping mistakes. No one ever greets Fish Fam Link in chat. Aw, poor Linky. Gina just said bottom feeder. Bingo! <laughs> poor old greeted Fish Fam Link. Well, they just changed how all of Overwatch 2 works, and new heroes are no longer held behind the Battle Pass paywall. Ooh, that's good. I lied. I need a synonym for bottom feeders and algae eaters. Help a girl out, Gina! Um... A synonym for bottom feeders and algae eaters? Is it Cory Catfish? I don't, I don't, they're both. Um, why would anyone want to greet that stupid bot? <laughs> uh, hello, my Finn crazy fans. Y'all are silly. Um, but yeah, no, it was a uh, shark. And then another guy named Anthro and I, um, the trio of us would play, oh god, we would play like every day. Back when Overwatch was like at its height. We had met a couple other people that we would regularly like, kind of like rotate and game with, but the three of us really stuck together. Um, but yeah. Cory, snails, loaches, pleco, shrimp, put them together, and what do they serve as? Um, cleanup crew? Is that the word you're looking for? Cleanup crew? You have a collection of fish and snails that eat extra food and algae. What would you call this crew? Yeah, cleanup crew, right? Yo, did you, yay! Gold star, I don't have any gold star stickers. Do I have a, oh, hold on. I have stickers. Where are my stickers? Do I have a starfish? I have this collection of, like, ocean stickers. There's coral, there's an anemone, there's a jellyfish, 
oyster, uh, nautilus, clam, <laughs> jellyfish, turtle, coral, ahi, mahi, mahi, tang, a goldfish in a bottle. That's not nice. Oh, shark. There's a shark. <laughs> I just want a starfish. How hard is it to find a starfish? I'm like, there's every single sea creature in here except, oh, there we go. Starfish in a bottle. Oh, there's a starfish. Oh, shit. Now I'm knocking shit over in my excitement. Let me see if there's another one. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Can I peel it? Can I peel it without ruining it? <laughs> Bam! I get a star. Oh god, my hair is on the way. There we go. I get a star. I did good. I done did good. <laughs> this was part of my Timu purchase. I got a bunch of I got a bunch of ocean stickers, random ocean stickers. Is a starfish chocolate? It is a chocolate chip starfish. I think I put them on upside down. Yeah, I sure did. Jitters and shit eaters. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Two more squares. Lately, last time when we played, it was mostly Uno. Yeah, Uno and Monopoly. I think we played a little bit of Monopoly. Do you know how long it took us to get Scotty to say the word quarantine, hospital, and isolation? Or what he kept saying. <laughs> it's the starfish chocolate. Yeah. Dina, tell me about your travel plans in October. Will you be going to Pennsylvania? If so, what for? Uh oh, I see you're baiting me. Hold on. And the hot dog flavored water. You're gonna have to rename the bingo game to the troll game. I heard blank. Can you please repeat? No, I did not say that. Uh, okay, Kelly, I'll give it to you. It's the Keystone Clash 2024. I don't know if you need the year, but. But no, I will not be going. I wish. Definitely next year, 2025. <laughs> the one time the computer player kept skipping your turn and making you draw the beginning of one Uno game. Yeah! The, anytime we played Uno, so it's because there's three of us, the fourth player would always be a bot, and the bots are never nice to me. Ever. They always pick on me. Yay! But that makes me so sad. I know. It makes me sad, too. But, Nathan, it'll be nice. Nathan and I, uh... It's funny, because he... He doesn't have friends uh, in the knife making or in the knife collecting community, so it's nothing like the fish fam. So it's gonna be really interesting going. I've already told him. I was like, "What are we gonna do when we're done walking around?" And he goes, "I don't know." And I'm like, "Well, obviously we'll go eat, but what else?" I mean, I don't want to like drive around Atlanta, Georgia, too much. Um, I don't know, sleep, I guess. Um, and then one one knife collector who streams, um, on one of his last streams, he talked about a Discord, and I was like, "Oh, you should get on that Discord. You should start talking to people. Start making some friends that we can meet and hang out with." And he's like, "Yeah, no." <laughs> Go to Stone Mountain. What is Stone Mountain? What is that? Yeah, if anybody has any tips or suggestions for what to do in, around Atlanta, Georgia. Oh! Why have I never seen this before? It's like a carving inside of a big stone. Stone Mountain Mar Mountain Park. Oh, 
Wow. Interesting. All right, then I'm off to Land of Nod. I'll catch you on the replay. Have a good night. Good night, Whip. Thanks for hanging out. Oh, my God. Thanks for coming by. The Georgia Aquarium used to be pretty good, too. Ooh, that would be fun. We either own or just sold Stone Mountain. They used to do concerts and laser light shows there at Stone Mountain. Ooh. Knife community doesn't hug. So, no, there, there's definitely a community there, just like how there's us, the fish fam. It's just Nathan's not, like, a part of it, involved in it. Gina, if you get extra time in Atlanta, try the Dwarf House. It's the original Chick-fil-A, and it has awesome food. Ooh, yeah! Tell me about uh restaurants and stuff, too. I've always wanted to go to Stone Mountain and remind everyone that that the remind everyone there that the North won. <laughs> oh, you collect pocket knives? Nice. Except everyone has knives. Yeah. Oh my god, it's my little buddy Fishymon. What kind of what what brand knife knives do you like? Fishymon. Are you like into collecting pocket knives? Speaking of small things, hey Fishymon. <sighs> Scotty, I think you're still smaller than Fishymon. Pointy. I've told Jake I would go to stereo shows with him. He wouldn't be hugging anyone or talking to them, God willing. I bet Kirk likes Spider Co. Yeah, we we had our little uh yeah, Spider Co knives are my favorite. <laughs> um Peplin, super sexy Brian. Hello, hello. I called it. <laughs> Skipper, hello, hello. No, only when he wears boots. <laughs> I have a couple of spider -Co me too yeah i have a um spider co um oh my god is it the leak no that's uh that's kaiser the kaiser is it kaiser uh the spider co oh the ladybug and the dragonfly i have oh this one that nathan bought me that's not I'm not the biggest fan of it because it's a um, back lock. And I'm not a big fan of back locks. Um, it starts with a C and it's like a fancy French name. Um, and then I also have one of the marine ones. The, yeah, Leek is Kershaw. Yeah. Um, yeah, I have one of those bright green saltwater ones. Um And yeah, I have a couple of spider goes. I have the fancy dragonfly one too. The one with the actual dragonfly on it. The pretty one. My son heard you say that, LMAO. Now me now my kids are gonna call me that. <laughs> You're welcome. All right, Skipper, don't don't trip. Don't trip. I have a pair of three spider co. Ooh, I think Nathan probably has one. The pair of three. That's a pretty standard spider co. Yeah, I prefer liner lock. Yep, frame lock or liner locks is what I like. I know they aren't the strongest locking mechanism out there, but they're simple and reliable. Yeah. You used to carry a Kershaw too back in. Back to a spider co now. Yep. Paul McCarthy. Hello, hello. I do want to get an open all someday, but more for like aesthetic than anything. What is? I might have seen it. Oh. 
Oh, yes. Yes, I have seen those with the interchangeable bl like you take the um yes. Yes. I have seen those. Nathan really thought about getting some too. Yeah, they're really cool. How do you twist and then they they fold in? I have a few Kershaw. My EDC is Benchmade. Yep, Benchmade's good. Um, I really like Civivi. That's been my kind of favorite lately. So this is a Civivi. I forget what it's called. Um, it's dirty because I open up packages with it. But yeah, I really like that blade shape. Um, my EDC is an Ontario Rat 2. That's a good standard one. And I can absolutely recommend it. It's no bench made, but it's better and bigger than the Buck Company or Buck Companion I had, or the CRKT knife. Yep, I had this one before. CRKT is good too. I also have a little native Spyrico. Nice. I used to carry nice knives until I got my box cutter folding. Yeah, I promise my white my knife is. Sharper than yours. Yeah, I did the same thing. I got um, a slide utility blade. I think it's like a Gerber brand one because I was just, oh my God, I was having to go through like rotate out two or three knives a week because of how many packages I open at work and it was just dulling the blades so quickly. So now I have the utility knife so, the, so work can replace those. But lately I've been carrying my um, Civivi uh, Desert Warrior. Yeah, my Elementum, the VV Elementum Desert Warrior. I always have a knife on, but never paid attention to the brand. I just get whatever has the features I like, usually from the confiscated box at work. Yep. Uh, so I just pulled it out, and it appears I have a Kershaw Speed Safe right now. Nice. Now I'm kind of wanting to go get Nathan's box of knives. I just use kitchen knives. I have nice ones. Yeah, that's good too. Um, we keep meaning to get like a nice um, like Japanese set of kitchen knives. Um, we just haven't pulled the trigger. We do have a really nice Spyderco kitchen knife. Two of them. Um, they were on clearance a couple of years ago. So we don't have a whole Spyderco set. We would like to. Oh, those are damn good kitchen knives. They're just expensive. Nathan does have a list of knives that he's looking for at the show. He's already uh, traded and got some. I so want some Japanese kitchen knives. Yeah, they're nice. Folding box cutters are nice. He uh, you can get serrated and hooked blades for them, too. But you can't hit the back of the blade with a stick to split wood. <laughs> that is true. But I, I carry both. I'll have my um, Elementum Dessert Warrior and I have the utility knife. So, yeah, if I need to, like, pry anything or, I don't know, cut something else or, I don't know, do silly stuff with it, I have it. Um, but my my utility blade... Um, also has a hammer pry on the other side, so that comes in useful. I use an axe to split wood. So, I was scrolling TikTok, and I don't know if you guys know him. Thor, I forget his last name, but he's the guy on TikTok who, and, like, probably YouTube shorts and Instagram, who splits wood, uh, uses axes to chop wood in the wood, uh, chop logs in the wood. Um, I just happen to be scrolling TikTok, <laughs> And TikTok now shows you, like, if somebody else has, like, seen or reposted or whatever, and it was him. It wasn't splitting wood. He was talking about something else. Um, and I, I screenshotted it and circled it because it was Steven that had shared it. And so I messaged Steven. I was like, so I see we follow the same people. <laughs> yep, I know that guy. <laughs> I'm like, so do you also enjoy his, his uh, log splitting videos? <laughs> He's like, actually, I do <laughs> lay out my fetish. <laughs> Our fetish, Steven. I'm outing myself, too. <laughs> uh, it's our fetish. We share it. Yeah, Geek Boy, but do you carry an axe on your belt? That would be pretty intense on the EUC. <laughs> you could. So in Missouri, you could. 
Yeah, do you EDC and X? You could, as long as you open carry. Jake got me a set of Zwilling knives for Christmas a couple years ago. Super nice. Ooh, that sounds fancy. Don't have much call to split wood every day downtown. <laughs> oh. You need to cook on more on you need to cook on fires, more geek. How else are you supposed to get the cops called on you in a city park? Oh my gosh. Um Coro speaks truth. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. But yeah. I split a lot of wood, but I use a gas-powered wood splitter these days. Getting old. Yeah, my uh, sister's husband got one of those. Because they do have a um, a wood-burning furnace for their house. And they love it. They like it a lot. But it goes through a lot of wood. Yep, just have an axe on one side and a set of cast iron pans on the other side of Geek as he rides the EUC through town. But do you EDC that gas-powered wood splitter on your belt? I have two handmade... I have two handmade tomahawks. Ooh. Gina, are you in the path of the eclipse? I think, like... We're just outside of, like, the perfect zone. So I, th I think if I travel north slightly, um, I'd be able to. But a couple of years ago, uh, we were in the path, and Nathan and I just, like, weren't inter interested in it. I think we actually went out to eat. And we were out to lunch at the time it was happening. We did eh. I wish I had a house with a fireplace or wood stove. Yeah. Walmart sells firewood, so I'm all set. They're like a bottle jack on one end and a wedge the jack pushes the bottle into. Oh. I see. There are also a ton of people here who put out firewood at the road. A little box where you take what you need and pay on the honor system. Oh. Well, that's nice. You can't install a wood stove, Scotty. Fireplaces are a ripoff. Don't buy a house with one. They're for aesthetic only. Yeah. And in a fireplace, which I didn't know until we bought our, our house has a fireplace. We've used it maybe a handful of times. Um, you're only supposed to burn hardwood in them because softwood will actually um, get the, like, the actual chimney, like, dirty faster. Like, so it will build up in it. Um, and if you don't get it cleaned regularly, that can actually cause your house to catch fire, which is great fun. Geek Boy, I need to know what EDC is. Everyday carry. EDC is everyday carry. Yeah, everyday carry. I have to drive nine miles for the eclipse. Jake has... Just has to go outside. Nine miles isn't too bad. Also, I use a mall to split wood. Axes are for cutting. <laughs> yeah. I'm fine with wood stove, but not sure I could install. Chimney would be hard to build. The jack axe wedge is the easiest wood splitter. Nice. Oh, I don't do that. That's a boy job. Oh, I forgot about my starfish. I don't want to mess up my starfish. <laughs> Sorry if I keep doing this. It's because I'm starting to get a headache. And I think it's the headphones are like slightly tight.
My favorite knife is my OTF. Ooh, out the front. That's fun. That's a lot of fun. Yeah, I would keep your chocolate star chocolate starfish well away from wood splitters. Yeah. Nah, Scotty, I didn't mean you install it. I just mean a wood stove can be added later, unlike a fireplace. Have a professional do it if you feel the need. Yes. OTF is illegal in New Jersey. Yeah. Sure is. There's a lot of states out the front are uh, illegal in. Sounds expensive. No, not really. Um, I mean, there's name brand and then there's off brands, just like with everything. Oh, you're talking about the fireplace. Yeah. <laughs> yes, having it professionally installed would be expensive, but it would be better than your house burning down. Yep, 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 yep. Or just cook outside. Have a fire pit. Yeah, I got it, Scotty. Stop yelling at me. I corrected myself. Yeah, fishy mod, I can't take it out. Take it on trips. Yep. Uh, yep. I mean, wood stoves are expensive. Ventilation is expensive, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. Scotty is a fireman. He can take care of it. <laughs> I want one of those flat top grill thingies. Ooh, that'd be cool. Yes, pellet stoves are way better anyway. So we have a pellet smoker. Oh, it's the, oh, it's so good. It's so good. I have a few automatics. We haven't really gotten into the automatic game yet. Um. Just not a, none of, like, I like my knives to be pretty. Um, but yeah, no, we have a pellet smoker. And it's so much better. Nathan's uncle has the big green egg. And after hearing him talk about how you have to be careful with it and blah, 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 blah. And every time we go over there, he would barbecue something. And it would still be, like, off, like, maybe slightly overdone or take forever to cook. So, yeah, we got a, we got pellet smoker. Am I the only one in this chat without a knife? I'm in danger. I'm in danger. <laughs> yeah, but wood is free. Pellets aren't. That is true. It's all a matter of whether it's going to offset your other heating costs in a way that makes sense. But wood stoves are big metal boxes full of expensive high heat brick and cement and whatever else. Yep. Keep my shop with wood. Have two furnaces. Nice. Michael, I don't have any knives. I have sharp knitting needles, though. Ooh, that could be just as bad. Michael, surely you have at least some kitchen knives. Disagree. Pellet stoves are not better than wood stoves. Exactly, Scotty. Yeah. I have an engraved knife that was a wedding gift and steak knives. Oh, that's nice. Mike, it just means you have so many people out there that will keep you safe. That's right. That is correct. Yeah, I'm looking around. Yeah. Yep, yep. Yeah, I think I'm only going to go for about 15 more minutes because I am pretty tired. Um, and I don't want to have to drink any caffeine at this point in the night. Um. But yeah. <laughs> I could go go get Nathan's uh pelican box of knives. Why did Google start listening to me? That's weird. Espresso time, do it. No. I want to be able to sleep good. Double. <laughs> No. I've been doing really good about just drinking just regular water during the day. I had been at like adding some water flavor 
I was like, I, no. I was like, no, I need to cut all that out. I need to just drink water. I still don't drink enough of it, but I have been just drinking regular water. And it's been terrible. Pellet stoves also don't have the aesthetic appeal, fitness benefits, etc., etc. They are better for your health than wood stoves, but a properly operating wood stove is better than a fireplace. Yes. If someone holding a knife says, I got your back, run. Ooh, good advice. Good, good, good. Gina, while Kelly is here, you should talk about your next planted tank upgrade. Oh, yeah, I keep, Steven, I keep meaning to message you, but then I keep forgetting. And then by the time I remember, like, you're streaming or something, and I'm like, I don't want to bother him while he's streaming. And then it's like, after you stream, I'm like, he might be tired or talking after, like, backstage, and I don't want to interrupt him. So, and then I just forget. <laughs> um, I drink hops flavored water. Does that, that counts, right? <laughs> Uh friend has a corn furnace. House stinks all winter. Ooh. Welcome back, Skipper. But honestly, Scotty, if you want to save money on heating, your best bet is likely a cold weather heat pump, either ductless or integrated into your existing ductwork. Oh. I have a bad habit of taking home SA steak knives from every restaurant I go. Uh, Steven, I feel like you're baiting Gita, but I'm also interested. Oh, I didn't actually say what it was. <laughs> um, as the best kind geek, plus heat pumps work better, or plus heat pumps work for air conditioning in the summer. Ooh. Um, I wanted to add CO2 to my, my 10 gallon. Um, so yeah, I want I want to, I was gonna ask Stephen what he recommends, some kind of small CO two system or just like an appropriate CO two system for my ten gallon tank, because my plants aren't doing the best. Um, so I, yeah, I want to I want to do right by them, but I also oh gosh, excuse me, I also have a couple of blue, um. Blue mystery snails. I have some ram's horns, and I have this is my neo caradina tank. Is CO two the bottleneck? What kind of lighting is on that tank? Uh, uh, yay! CO two is always a bottleneck in planted aquariums. Uh, sure, inappropriate is more fun. <laughs> uh. What's your KH? Isn't there a formula to figure out if you need CO2 based on the KH in the water or something? Oh, uh, don't make me go. Oh, you know what? I can't test my water. My KH test is at work. I took it to work because Petco doesn't supply the stores with KH tests, even if we have a frag tank, which doesn't make sense. So I brought mine to work. But yeah, CO2 art is always a good brand. You could get a paintball system. Ooh. I have to look into that. CO2 art. Ooh. Huh, is this a Shopify store? I think it's a Shopify store. Because of their, their reward system. I think it is. Um, are you going to do... Scotty, are you going to do one of those fire extinguisher systems for CO2? Even if you have a KH of zero, injecting CO2 makes a big difference. But if you get a five pound cylinder on a 10 gallon, you don't have to fill it but once a year. Ooh, that is true. That is true. Is 
Spin to win. No, thank you. Uh, complete kits. Hmm. Probably plenty of paintball places near her for refills. Oh, yeah. Plus, a full-size system can expand if you need it. You can put it on a bigger tank or use it to use it to inject multiple tanks. Ooh. Yeah, I don't I I did test my water on stream back when I was streaming on Thursdays, I think. Um and I I just I don't remember what my KH was. The tap water. I straight I was testing tap water. Yeah, because I kind of, so one of the new items that Petco is coming out with to replace like the fluval stuff is CO2 tabs, which I'm very curious about. Um, I haven't looked up the product on the, actually, let me go to Petco.com and see if it has product information yet. I don't want them to know my location. CO2 tabs. Yeah. Let me screen share so you guys can see. Bink, bunk, bunk. Okay. Magitarium planted aquarium CO2 tabs. 10 pack. Um. <laughs> For under 10 gallon aquariums, help aid the use of CO2. The diffusing chamber is recommended to dissolve it. One tablet is ideal for every five gallons of aquarium water once, one time per week. Oh. Directions. Best to use in a diffusing chamber. Oh. Interesting. So, yeah. Yeah, and then we'll have new diffuser kits also. Uh, I've seen CO2 setups where people use a fire extinguisher canister as their bottle. Oh. Yeah, so I kind of want to do an experiment. I want to have CO2 on my current tank, and then I want to set up a whole new tank with all this new product that Petco is about to come up, come out with, and uh, kind of do a side-by-side. -side and maybe actually make a video about it and make some actual content. I think that would be fun. What do you guys think? Is that does that sound good? I think that would, I think that sounds good. Content, more content, right? Do it. <laughs> yeah, cuz there's like no new volcano substrate, volcanic like substrate. There's new shrimp and plant food there's there's all kinds of stuff the tools i think thinking hurts <laughs> uh um yeah there's there's new like plant like uh sorry shrimp like hides and stuff um oh i'm so excited i am so excited for it the tools um yeah Peek, you're thinking too hard. All right, we got like three, no, two, two and a half minutes. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty excited about it. It should be, I'm hoping that it'll start rolling in next week because the planogram isn't due to set for two weeks. Um, sometimes they'll start sending the product like a week early before we're supposed to set it. 
Sometimes. Sometimes they send it two weeks late. Um, so yeah, I'm super excited about it. I wish you didn't have to work during what your plans. We would love to have you on. Plus, we want to talk about macroalgae. I know. I know. I'm sad about it. I wish I didn't have to work during it, too. But it is what it is. Um... But yeah. One day the stars will align and you'll have off. Yeah. Yeah. One day. Because it's on a Monday, right? Monday is what? Your plans? I could request off. I could ask him to switch my Monday and my Tuesday. Oh, wait, no, it's because the other girl, the other manager who closes is usually off on Monday. I'll talk to her first. Monday, 4 p.m., yeah. I did not win the lottery. Oh, sorry, Scotty. Better luck next time. But, yeah. All right, we got about 30 seconds, so I'm going to start saying goodbyes. Thank you guys for hanging out. Sorry it's not my normal two-hour stream. Um, I just, I'm so tired. I want to go. Now I'll probably go lay down because, yeah, I'm, I'm getting a headache. Um, shit, we were counting on you, Scotty. No. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for hanging out. I'm glad I, I'm glad, uh, Matt talked me into streaming. I had fun. And Kelly, yes, I'll look into the so what is that? CO2 art setups. Um, if you have any other recommendations, let me know. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys all have a good one. And good night, puppies. Um, I hope you guys have a good week. And if I don't see you Saturday, I'll see you maybe next Wednesday. Hopefully. Probably. Uh, let me pull up. I was not ready. I don't have the video pulled up. Uh, okay, bye! <laughs>